Every year, the same thoughts arise. Will the garden come back to life? It's a legitimate question. The garden has been all but dead for a dark and cold spell. Will light and life come again? Will there be another miracle of life? Another spring? Experience has conditioned my expectations. Spring comes softly at first. Daffodils gently raise their heads. Then azaleas explode. And yes, ducklings appear. Without fail, every year, this old world celebrates life again. I believe in spring. I believe it's coming. But all that I see is dead leaves. In Atlanta, with spring comes the azaleas. Azaleas bloom everywhere. Dormant bushes, small and enormous, with no sign of comeliness, burst to life with magnificent color. It seems the bush could not have rightly produced the overabundance it displays. The colors are vivid and assault the senses. The pink, the red, and the white waterfalls of flowers awaken the hope of life. They are a resurrection from the long winter's sleep. Then it seems there's a delay. The longing soul watches for the special event, the arrival of the ducklings. It's a glad heart that searches for the little creatures. The azaleas made certain of that, but their absence creates a hesitation. Maybe the ducklings won't appear this year. Past years have created an insatiable desire to see the ducklings. They're so amazing and cute. From the first day of their life, ducklings know how to swim and what to eat. They follow their mother in a tight group across the lake. These darting feather balls speak to the heart. How pointedly blessed are we to have such wonders to experience. But where are they? The signs are there. The azaleas are in full bloom. Could it be that it will not happen? Then they appear as if called on cue by God himself. As the lake reflects the vibrant azaleas on its banks, petite, soft, chirping ducklings swim across the shimmering water following their mother. Breathtaking. Azaleas, ducklings, and spring. It was worth the wait.